All right, you two. Just installed this Mishimoto sandwich adapter. Uh, yeah, I said I was gonna do that next, but I'm waiting for the pieces, better pieces to come in. I'm not gonna use that whole screw thing on I was explaining. Oh, crap. Yeah. So, and this shit's pretty simple to install. You know what I mean? You would get it and, you know, you would screw it on, screw it on to there. You know what I mean? This is a whole separate piece, obviously. Well, if you get the kit, you'll understand. But, uh, yeah. It's like that. So, you would take oil, new oil, fully synthetic here, you know. Um, you know, dip your finger in there, rub it around the rim, and then you would find the size that goes for your engine. It comes with two sizes. But the silver size goes for our Lancer engines. And you would, you know, screw that on like that. But obviously you gotta have the sandwich adapter on. So hold on. Put it in the hole like that. And then we screw. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Boom, just like that. I want to make sure it's facing the front. Actually, I'll probably move it by the time I'm ready to actually install. I'll probably move it this way towards the transmission because the line will probably come through there through the firewall, come down here, and go this way. So yeah, I'll probably keep it this way for right now. And uh, of course, you still hand tighten it. It's nothing different. Always hand tighten it, okay, guys? Always hand tighten. It. Um, yeah, that's that's that. Next, we're gonna put in the spark plugs while we wait for our parts on Wednesday. Okay, so we're changing the spark plugs. I showed you guys what kind already, but. Yeah, so we changed the spark plugs. You know, that's the brand number. Get my old spark plug out. It's not bad looking. It's alright. It's been in this for like a year. One knows most. Since I bought the car, I never changed spark plugs, so that's what it looks like. I don't know how long the owner had it in. But when I looked at it last year, it was fine, so. Now it's time to get new ones. Oh, yeah. That's what it looks like. Nice. NGK. Boom. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do. Put it inside the socket. All right. Just like that. Put it inside the socket. Put it down in the hole. Never tighten it, always hand tighten it. Make sure it threads first. Don't put too much pressure, make sure it threads. Always backtrack, then forward track. And you know, it's supposed to be nice free flowing motion. See, now that it's tight, can't do it. Okay. So yeah, you do that. I'm gonna do that to the rest of the three, and we're gonna do the next step. Okay, YouTube. So we're back in my house, and the pieces came in. So that's what I was talking about. Instead of the one that screws on, you can get the one that just pushes on. Let me open this shit. Okay. 
Let's see. Just let. Let's see. Just push it on that hole. Which I got right here. Black stainless steel braided holes. So you just push it in. And you see these handy dandy clamps right here. I got it for like a dollar forty. So that's all you need for. Um, and put it on the ends of them. So I'm going to do that and show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you push it all the way on. Actually, it's actually pretty safe with it just pushed in. But just for the extra security, I'm going to put this clamp on. Just tighten it, you know. Extra security. Never be too safe. So when that's done, we're going to put it on the car. Okay, so we're back outside. And we got the holes done. Nice and tight. and Make sure it's pushed up all the way to the top, guys. So you don't see this random shit. What is this? This random shit right here. I think you just screw it down. Oh wait, no, nope. you can screw it down. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna feed this in straight to that oil feed right there. So we're gonna run it through an intake manifold under body. So let me push it right there. I probably can't even see what you're going to do. Ah, it's a bunch of shit I'm going to do. You see it right there? I'll bring it all the way around. So, I'll do that. Alright, so once you get it in the hole, you tighten it with your handy dandy 15. And make sure you tighten it so you can't go no more. Yeah, that's what it looks like when it's fully tightened in. Now when you tighten it, it's going to turn. It's just going to tend to go down. So what I did was I took this 14 and put it right under it. Just like, just put it in, just like that. Put it right under it, just like that. Held it there while I tightened it so it never went down because when you tighten it's going to turn down so that's that it's fully tightened and then yeah I guess that's basically part one of the whole turbo preparation got your spark plugs your injectors your omni map sensor this is optional your Mishimoto sandwich plate adapter or, you know, or pressure and temperature. And, you know, your 4 end bung. With a, what, 3 8 fitting. Fit right in there. So, yeah. The next thing I'll be doing will be a uh, repair. Put the radiator back on. The front mount. Crash bar. And the upper bar over there. After that, we can, part two, we're going to start to install the turbo. So, yeah, that's that.